in the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Investigation is underway into the fatal shooting of a Georgia Tech student over the weekend by campus police. In California, where there is growing outrage over a fatal police shooting. They are right now because police are responding to an active shooter situation at the YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California. A 12 year old boy is dead today after being shot and killed by two Cleveland police officers. Our unalienable right to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness, those rights were stripped from college kids in Blacksburg and Santa Barbara and from high schoolers at Columbine and, and from first graders in Newtown. Jefferson County 911. Yes, I am a teacher at Columbine High School. There is a student here with a gun. He has shot out a window. I believe one of them has shot. Um, um, I've been Columbine High School. I don't know what's in my shoulder. If it was just the last thing you do, but. Um, okay, has anybody been injured, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the school is in a panic, and I'm in the library. I've got students down. I'm on a table, kids. Heads under the table. Um, kids are screaming. Some of the teachers um, are, you know, trying to take control of things. We need police here. We need okay. Police. We're getting them there. Who is the student, ma'am? I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. And you need police, fire, medical? Um, maybe both, I'm not sure, there's just someone screaming outside. Okay, and is it a male or a female? It sounds like a male. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. Just send someone quick. Say, ah. Okay. Does he look hurt? You? I can't see him. I don't want to go out there. I don't know what's going on. So they're sending. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right. What is your <laughs> Just There's gunshots. You just heard gunshots? Yes. How many? This one.
at the civil rights movement, it was spearheaded through the church and people were actually engaged in making a difference in the lives of not only their own communities, but in the lives of people around the world. And so I want to see this movement continue to spread and have young people get involved in and taking an active role in changing our communities. For me, this was actually um, a no-brainer. Gun control is something that I'm very passionate about and have been so for many decades. Reasoning why is that growing up in the late 80s and the 90s, lost many friends to gun violence um, due to guns being distributed throughout our community. Um, even before the mass shootings in Columbine, and, uh, West Virginia University, and now the school in Florida, it's been an ongoing problem. This event is meaningful to me because it needs to be a change because everything that happens to them is happening to us. And I know everything won't be able to be stopped, but at least some change can happen. This event is meaningful to me because I recently lost my godfather about five years ago due to gun violence. I look forward to doing something about the gun laws and maybe making them stricter. stricter. John, 911, what's the location of your emergency? Sandy Hook Elementary School, 12 Dickinson Drive. Okay, I've got that. What's going on down there? This, I believe they're shooting at the front at the front glass. Something's okay. going on. All right, I've got all, I want you to stand on the line. Where are you in the school? I'm down the corridor. I'm all right, I want you to take cover. Jen, get the sergeant. All right, get everybody you can going down there. All right, let me, let me get some information from you. What makes you think that? The front glass was all shot out or it kept, kept going on. Okay. It's still happening. All right, what about the students in the front of the building? Dude, dude, everything's locked up as far as I know. I'm not in the front. All right, you're in lockdown? Do you, yeah, they're in lockdown. Did you see anything out the window? No, it's still going on. I can't get over there. Okay, I don't want you to go over there. This event is meaningful to me because I have a teenage son and the streets are really bad and I just wanted to get the guns off of there because bullets have no names to it and it just might be an innocent bystander that you know may get shot. So I'm just here to rally against gun violence. We hope to get uh, the ear of our le legislators and lawmakers. Our young people are speaking up. They're speaking up, clear, speaking up clearly and loudly and stating the facts that they want to see these weapons of, of war off of our streets, not in our, not in our communities, and definitely not in our schools. It's meaning to me because it saved lives, man. Putting the guns down, I hope everybody, more life than deaths. Oh, I'm gonna leave this on the way. Yeah. Oh. 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 O
Yeah. Yo. Bro, stop. <laughs> ah, that hurts. It's cold out here, too. That hurts. Oh, it stings. I know today we won't get everything that we desire to get with the gun laws, but if we can just get one little piece of it, just one little piece, that's one little step towards getting to where we need to go. So um, I'm just hoping that they will at least hear the voices of the children. I knew I shouldn't have followed you, Chris Columbus. You know what? <laughs> so which way we gotta go? We need to just cut this way. Maybe it's like a sad way. We not going. Change is slow, but I feel it taking shape. Folding over us like waves. An origami ocean tides we sway. But gray is not a Appreciating greatly and uh, appreciate all you and our adult leaders as well. Um, uh, you, you, you can come on into the church and wait for your parents or who's going to pick you up. You can come on inside, but make sure you take everything, everything off of the bus. Any trash, put it in the bag. Um, any clothing, keep it on your back. <laughs> That's why you don't want to go. You know what? Did you enjoy the event, Miss Wendy? Yes, I did. It was a beautiful day. Thank you.